There are a couple of different ways of bringing data into Smartsheet from Excel and Google Sheets. We simply import those sheets in and it'll create brand new Smartsheet sheets for you. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm in Smartsheet. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go up to my Create button here at the top right. And I'm gonna choose, normally we choose Grid here to create the sheet. That's gonna create a blank sheet for us. So what we wanna do instead is we wanna import from Microsoft Excel. So once we do that, the first thing it's gonna ask us for is what, where am I getting this file from? So you just navigate to your computer, find the file, say open. It's gonna bring it in here and say continue. Then it's gonna ask you just a couple of quick questions about your data set. Now my data set's very simple. I just have company name, address, phone number, type, and an indicator column. And you can see I've got just a few records in here. Um, if you had massive records, you would only see a few number of those records uh, in this screen. So you can give it the sheet name. I'm just gonna leave it as upload to Smartsheet. Uh, then the next thing it's gonna ask you is which column is going to be your primary column. So we'll leave that one as company name. And then if you have any uh, formulas in Excel, you can choose to include those formulas on input by leaving this check on here. So I'm gonna click the import button and you're gonna see now I have a new sheet in Smartsheet that's called upload to Smartsheet. So let's take a look at it. It's really straightforward. So it's all the data that I had from, that I pulled in from Excel, uh, which is now in Smartsheet. So what I can do now is I can customize the column types. So I just shortcutted my way to creating all of these columns in Smartsheet. So for my type, for instance, I'm gonna change this one from a text to a dropdown. And now I have a dropdown of customers versus suppliers in my type column. Let me save that. So we're gonna back out and let's do it one more time. But this time we're gonna do it from Google Sheets. So again, I'm gonna hit the create button. I'm gonna go down and say import from Google Sheets. My data set is exactly the same. So we'll use this one here. And we'll give it a different sheet name, upload to Smartsheet 2. It's got all the same information in it. Again, my primary column is gonna be my company name. I'm gonna include formulas, even though I don't have any, and we're gonna import that in. So if we look at upload to Smartsheet 2, you can see the data set is exactly the same. Uh, our columns aren't quite as wide as we would like them to be, so we can adjust those, and we can continue to edit our sheet from here on. Now, this is really nice because when you create these in Smartsheet and you import data in from either Excel or Google Sheets, you can do that with a huge data set. So typically when you copy and paste in Smartsheet, it only allows you to copy 500 rows at a time. But if I import a sheet in, then I get a lot more rows. I can get up to 20,000 rows in Smartsheet. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And also, if you like this video, um, feel free to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button to be updated for any new content that I have coming out. See you next time.